There is nothing like the Olympics on the planet. Security expert Jared Krieger weighed in on the series of attacks, including arson fires targeting high speed trains across France. It happened just hours before the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Most people in Europe use rail as a primary form of transportation. So whoever the saboteurs were said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and create a fuss at a widely used form of transportation. It's gonna draw a lot of attention, make a lot of people talk about it. That's what they want. They want the attention in the end. It was called coordinated and malicious sabotage by French officials, and it caused chaos, cancellations, and delays left thousands stranded. No way to get to or through France, including hundreds of people with tickets to the event, according to reports. Krieger says the machine guns and police presence, ID checks and closed streets that you see are just part of the security that exists around the Olympic Games. He talked to us today from the Owings Mills headquarters of his firm, Defender One Security. They know exactly what they're doing. They're there to protect the population, the visitors, the guests, the athletes, and the infrastructure. His company has been tapped to protect big events and big entities, critical infrastructure, state governments, Marriott, MLB, and the NFL. But he says nothing in our country or any other comes close to the Olympics. Right, there's different government agencies, entities, dignitaries, all in one place at one time. So in reality, the closest thing would be the Super Bowl domestically, foreign, the World Cup, but in reality, there's really nothing like the Olympics. So you may be surprised by this take, but he said, yes, the attacks did cause chaos and confusion and apprehension and people watched it across the world. But he says the attack showed just how secure the games are. He said, look at how far the attackers had to go to find a soft spot and their attack caused no physical injuries or damage. Reporting live from Owings Mills tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Kate, thank you. And our guide to the games is in the WBAL TV app. Get competition schedules and see how to stream events. Also on our app, you can meet some of the 18 Maryland athletes competing in Paris. Our complete athlete profiles just tap Olympics.